When we talk about SpaceX's success, the praise often centers on Musk, the company's founder and CEO, known for his role in transforming multiple industries. However, Musk isn't the only key figure driving SpaceX forward. There's a saying that, behind every successful man there's a woman, and at SpaceX this woman is Gwyn Shotwell. As the president and COO, Shotwell plays a crucial role in the company's achievements. She is well known for her hard work and game-changing decisions within the company, but what she recently did surpasses any of her previous achievements, and we will talk about it in this video. But before we delve deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements and more. When Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, he entered an industry where he lacked direct experience. Prior to SpaceX, Musk's background was in the tech sector, having co-founded companies like PayPal and Zip2, which were far from aerospace. His decision to start SpaceX was driven by ambitious goals to reduce space travel costs and make Mars colonization possible. However, entering the aerospace industry meant competing with established entities like NASA and Boeing, which had decades of experience. One of the specific early challenges SpaceX faced was the failure of its first three Falcon 1 rocket launches. These failures nearly bankrupted the company, as Musk had funded SpaceX's early operations with his own money. Recognizing the need for a strong operational leader to turn the company's fortunes around, Musk turned to Gwyn Shotwell. Shotwell had a solid engineering background and significant experience in the aerospace sector from her time at another aerospace company. One of her early notable achievements was securing a pivotal contract with NASA in 2008, valued at approximately $1.6 billion, to provide cargo resupply services to the International Space Station. Under Shotwell's leadership, the company focused on the development and enhancement of the Falcon family of rockets. The Falcon 1's initial failures were soon overshadowed by the successful launch of the Falcon 9 in 2010. The Falcon 9 rocket became the backbone of SpaceX's launch operations. In 2022, this rocket set a record with 60 successful launches in a single calendar year, surpassing the previous record held by the Soyuz rocket, which had 47 launches in 1979. The momentum continued into 2023, with Falcon 9 breaking its own record by achieving 96 successful launches in a year. Seeing the success of the Falcon 9, SpaceX decided to develop the Falcon Heavy, using a similar design but with greater capacity. The Falcon Heavy incorporates the Falcon 9's design, using a central core with two additional Falcon 9 stages as boosters. The Falcon Heavy is known for its high payload capacity to various orbits and has the second highest payload capacity of any currently operational rocket, only behind NASA's Space Launch System. The maiden flight of Falcon Heavy in February 2018 carried Musk's personal Tesla Roadster into space. Gwyn Shotwell also led SpaceX, not just to launch satellites for others, but to enter the satellite business themselves with the creation of Starlink. This move is like a store owner deciding to stop just renting out space to others and start selling their own products. SpaceX now dominates the satellite internet service industry. Starlink's growth has been impressive, with the service expected to double its subscriber base from an estimated 1 million in January 2023 to about 2 million by the end of the year, and services across more than 60 countries. Surprisingly, Starlink accounts for up to 40% of SpaceX's projected revenues for 2023, amounting to approximately $3.2 billion. This revenue comes from a combination of service subscriptions and hardware sales. However, among all the achievements Gwyn Shotwell has contributed to at SpaceX, none is as important as the Starship project. The Starship is designed to be a fully reusable transport system capable of carrying up to 100 people to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Its height is approximately 120 meters when combined with its super-heavy booster, making it the tallest rocket in development. The rocket's payload capacity is also notable, with the ability to lift more than 100 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Comparatively, the Falcon family of rockets, while highly successful and reliable, operates at a different scale. 
The Falcon 9, for example, can lift approximately 22 metric tons, and the Falcon Heavy can lift about 63 metric tons to low Earth orbit. While a Falcon 9 can carry about 60 Starlink satellites, Starship is estimated to have the capacity to lift payloads of 150 tons to low Earth orbit. This could potentially allow for the deployment of 110 to 120 satellites per launch. This increased capacity could streamline the deployment process for the Starlink constellation, reducing the number of required launches. Although Starship's capabilities look impressive on paper, the rocket is still under development. Its development has been full of rigorous testing, including two orbital launch tests in 2023. The first test flight encountered significant issues leading to the destruction of the vehicle. Despite this setback, the flight broke records for rocket stage power, but fell short of completing its mission. In November 2023, the second test flight took place with significant improvements over the first. These included upgrades to the engine section, flight termination system, and the introduction of hot staging. Additionally, modifications to the launch pad were made to mitigate the damage observed during the first launch. Despite these efforts, the second flight also ended with the vehicle's destruction. However, it successfully executed several operations before failing, providing valuable data for future development. The FAA and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service played crucial roles in the regulatory oversight of these tests. SpaceX is now gearing up for its third Starship test flight, scheduled for March 14th from Orbital Launch Pad A in Starbase. This comes after a series of rigorous preparations, including a focus on the Orbital Launch Pad, with Booster 10 and Ship 28 set to return to the launch site for a wet dress rehearsal. Significant upgrades have been made to both the hardware and infrastructure to address the issues encountered during the previous flights. This includes enhancements to the orbital tank farm and launch site, such as the installation of extra pumps and subcoolers, and modifications to the plumbing to separate the ship's subcoolers from those of the booster. Furthermore, SpaceX has reinforced the cryo shells at the launch site with large vertical beams and cross supports, especially for the liquid nitrogen tank and the still remaining water tank exposed to the exhaust plume to withstand the force of static fires and launches. Although Musk and SpaceX are planning for the third Starship test flight on March 14th, it's important to note that this date is not set in stone. The history of the Starship program shows that past flight tests faced delays, often due to waiting for the Federal Aviation Administration to issue the necessary launch license. The FAA's licensing process is thorough, focusing on safety, compliance, and environmental considerations, which can lead to unforeseen delays. Given this, while SpaceX targets March 14th for the flight, the actual launch could be postponed if the FAA license is not secured in time. A key focus of the upcoming flight is to test the in-orbit propellant transfer capabilities. This technology is crucial for the Artemis missions, with plans to create a propellant depot in low Earth orbit filled by a series of Starship tanker launches. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.